I am a member of the Sichangu Lakota people from Roseburg, South Dakota. My family comes from a little beautiful place called Milk's Camp. And so this was a place where my mother was raised. And so I've been living my life in Omaha, on the res, back and forth. And so what I do is I, ex I explain symbolism. When you travel anywhere in the four directions, symbolism exists everywhere, with every culture, every society. We have clans, we have tribes, we have all these different bands that exist throughout the world. It's just when the people made their ways to the United States, they forgot this relationship. And so this, in this Tipestala, that's what we call it, it's a pointy dwelling in which we live in. That's what it translates into. That's what we call Tipestala. And so on this, I was, uh, you know, the teepee isn't perfect, but nothing's perfect. This is how life is. And so I had over 60 people painting on this teepee of all different races, of all different nationalities. And so it was a wonderful experience. So I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me to Washington, D.C. to take part in this. There are four things that are truly sacred to indigenous people. It's the water, it's the land because of the medicinal edible ingredients that are created through by the creator. And also we acknowledge our wakayajas. This is the next generation. This is our little babies. I had Wizipan's uh, son come up. And that's his nape, that's his hand that's on these horses that you see behind me. And so I was waiting and waiting for a little Indian boy to come over. And so he appeared. And so it was a wonderful time because all the horses were painted. On this, I acknowledge the 13 moons. That's the scales that you see in this, ho or the turtle. And so this is the lunar cycle that exists within the, the lunar cycle throughout the year. We acknowledge the 28 days, but this is a cleansing for our women. And this is why I incorporated the turtle. It's the longevity of its life. It's a protector of the amulets that exist for our weans, our women. And so the last thing that we have that is truly sacred to us is our voice. It's our prayers. It's our songs. It's how we communicate with each other. And this is truly sacred. And so I hope President Obama hears our prayers. As you look up into the skies, you see Pleiades. It's the Big Dipper. It's in the formation that exists right now in this season because it's dumping the water back onto the earth. It's replenishing the earth. That's why this lodge was created in this manner. As you look in front of me, this is the door. It's painted red because we, the red to us can either give life or take life. And so the alliance that has been created is our cowboys and Indians. It's everything that exists from the four leggeds to the winged relatives. And this is the path that goes right down the middle of them. And so this is our lodge. I want to thank all the volunteers who helped me paint this. It was an amazing experience. And Pilami Apolo.